Hi, and welcome to the Audio Design Desk import tutorial. To import your own sounds, press Command-I and our Intelligent Importer will open. In this window, you can select Add Files, or you can drag files directly into the importer from your desktop or from anywhere on your hard drive. Once your files are in the importer, you can select all by pressing Command A and then press on the button labeled Guess Metadata. The importer looks at whatever metadata exists within your audio files, including name and folder structure. In this case, all the importer has to guess from is the name of the file. The importer will do an even better job at guessing if you organize your files into folders on your hard drive with category names, such as sound effects, sound design, footsteps, foley, and music. You can see that Audio Design Desk has placed about 75% of the sonic intelligence based on these file names. Let's take a look. With this one, you can hear that a car is driving by. But because the only information Audio Design Desk has to go from is the file name CAR5, it knows it's a sound effect and transportation. But you'll need to manually change the subtype by clicking on the subtype field and finding Drive by CAR. The importer can also guess where to place the sync marker by pressing the Guess Sync button. You can also select all by pressing Command A and ask Audio Design Desk to guess all the sync markers at once. Let's see how it did here. Good, good. You can go through and manually place all of the metadata that the importer didn't guess for you. You also may want to create elements out of your stems. So for example, this stem has a lot of footsteps on it. To create individual elements, simply select the region you want and press the letter U. Let me go through and do this real quickly. Once you've created your elements and you're ready to import your sounds, simply press Import to Library. The Import window will ask you if you'd like to create elements and if you'd like Audio Design Desk to guess the sync marker of each of these elements. In this case, I do, so I'm going to copy files and press Import. Once the process is done, it will bring up all of these files inside of a playlist called Latest Import. You can open the sounds in the audio editor to see where Audio Design Desk guessed the sync marker. This way you can easily assign all of your imported sounds to a trigger by selecting the elements you like and dragging them into that trigger. Now these footsteps are assigned to number one on your QWERTY keyboard. We'll play the video and perform these footsteps by pressing the number one. Let's listen back. Excellent. Another way you can import sounds into Audio Design Desk is by simply dragging a file into the timeline. Let's find footsteps. Footsteps on wood. We'll drag it into the timeline and double click on it to open in the audio editor. In this case, I'm not going to add all of the specific metadata. I just want to break a stem into elements and start performing. So in the audio editor, I select the regions I want and press the letter U to create elements. Once you've created your elements, select the file menu and export elements as audio files. I'll place them in my footsteps folder and import. And again, they'll all show up in my latest import playlist. I can now quickly grab these files and assign them to number two. Now I can perform the next set of footsteps by pressing the number two on my keyboard. And let's listen back. As a reminder, I can easily replace the footsteps on concrete I imported first with the footsteps on wood that I just imported by simply selecting the footsteps on wood and pressing Shift Return. Now, let's listen from the beginning. If I don't like one of the sounds Audio Design Desk placed for me, I can select the sound and press Shift-R to find all the rest of the sounds I imported. 
I can press the space bar to listen to them one at a time. And when I find the one I like, I can click return and it will instantly replace the sound. If I want to give the sound sonic intelligence later, I can simply select the sounds, right click on them and select edit metadata. In the importer, if I select all and change the metadata settings, it will apply the settings to all of the sounds selected. The importer guessed footstep element wood. So all I need to do is add the subtype. So I'll add sneaker and press save changes. Now Audio Design Desk has given its sonic intelligence to each of those sounds. These are a few of the ways you can import sounds into Audio Design Desk. We're always here if you have any questions. Thanks so much.